Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial with Plum Good Quilting. Today we're going to talk about how to make fun frilly flowers, the non-applique kind. A year or so ago, um, Mom came up with this idea. She was just looking for a cute flower to make that wouldn't require a lot of work, that was quick, that could be put on a project, and did not require hand sewing with applique. So she came up with this and it's super cute. Um, as you can see here, she put, she pre-quilted some fabric and made a pillow and put the flowers, put the flowers onto the pillow with uh, covered buttons. Now, the size of the flower template would fit on a charm square, which is 5 inches by 5 inches, but I couldn't find enough of the same fabric to do that with, so I cut me two pieces. You need a front and a back of the flower, and my two pieces here are 5 inches by 10 inches. That way you're going to end up with two flower fronts and two flower backs. And here's my template. I've provided the template for you guys to download in a PDF format and I just printed mine off on some cardstock and cut that out. Um, I find that to be a cheap good template uh, instead of using the template plastic which can be kind of expensive if you're just going to use it for little projects like this and maybe not reuse it. Um, the other thing we need to use here is we use Pellon Wonder Under, and if you'd like to use Steam a Seam or any of the other adhesive products, that's fine. We just enjoy using this for temporary projects. Um, it's super simple to use, and it's a little cheaper than some of the other stuff. Um, the other thing I need to tell you is, when you cut out your template later, um, you'll need to actually cut on this line right here. And I didn't show that pro part of the process in my pictures um, and then I had no way of showing you about the the line that had to be cut on so just be aware that later you'll have to cut on that line as well okay the first thing we're going to do here is um, we're going to put the first piece of fabric doesn't matter if it's the top or the bottom of the flower face down so that your wonder under or steam a seam can go on the back side of your fabric you want that to go on the wrong side. And because it can be a little messy, we always use a pressing cloth on our ironing board. So this is a pressing cloth here that we've made out of muslin. And the other thing is no steam is required. You're better off without the steam and just have a really hot iron. And as you can see here, this is the paper is still on it as well. So, and if you've never used Pellon before, what happens is um, this is a very thin adhesive that is sprayed onto what's like wax paper. So you put the you put the adhesive side down onto the back of your fabric, you press it, and then when it's cooled after about 10 or 15 seconds, you can peel the paper back and take that off. Now the next part of the proce process requires you to um, take the other piece of fabric that you've chosen and put wrong side Make sure it's wrong side to wrong side so that your adhesive is in the middle of the two making a sandwich. And as you can see here, I just pressed it again and we're all done. We've got the two pieces together. Now, if you do a charm pack, you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but you can. Um, I am more into saving time. So what I did was I folded the my sandwich in half so that it's a 5 inch by 5 inch square. But I've got my two layers that I can cut both flowers at the same time. Then you can put your template on top, trace around it with a pin, and cut that out. And remember, after you cut your flower out, you're going to need to cut up both of them on this line as well, both flowers. And as you can see here, I've traced around it. Now I had to draw fast because this is the type of fabric pin that um, disintegrates. It dissolves in a few minutes, and so I wouldn't be have a be able to see a line to cut on. Now as you can see here I've gotten the two flowers cut out. See they're the same. You've got a front and a back, two of the same on each side. Okay the next part of the process is the line that you had cut up the flower that you've done it on both of them. It allows you to have a straight cut across on both flowers. Put your right sides together on your flower and just make that seam straight across. 
and you want to sew a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch and you'll see why in just a minute so all you do is cut straight up the line right sides together of your two flower fabrics and sew it and then you'll see what you do here okay then you need to um, on each petal you need to fold it in right sides together again and do a small seam to the center and do that where each petal meets fold it in half and sew up it so you have that all the way around your flower as you can see here I've done it on each one this was your original seam going across right here where you sewed the two together and then you did all of the others where your flower petals met and this is the front side so you see how it does a really nice ruffly effect without having to um, without having to do a lot of work no no ruffling involved just uh, make your templates large and cut them in half okay as you can see I noticed on mom's uh, project when she originally did it and I wasn't paying attention obviously but it's sort of personal choice on this when she sewed her seam down the middle of the petal um, well she sewed hers down the middle of her petals and I sewed mine in the dip where your petals meet so my seam was more here and hers was right straight up the center of the petal so it's personal preference so you can see hers better over here um, she sewed it like that and then the next thing I'll show you is if you're sewing it onto something so you can keep the ruffly effect and sort of even out where your ruffles are on your flower um, you can tack it down and she did sort of a north south east west thing here just four sides and I've just pulled it up to show you how she just tacked it there and tacked it at the top okay and then back to our original project so you can see how that worked out um, as I said this has been this pillow has been around the block a few times with our lectures it's been out for a year or so so um, hers hers and as you can see this was our demo product that we started with just playing with a little technique so um, she had made a seam around just to do some extra um, extra embellishment on there just to see what would happen um, and she also like I said these cute uh, covered buttons behind her covered buttons she actually did not sew her seams all the way to the center of the flower like I did and she has about a third of an inch in diameter hole in the center of her flower so that she could just sew the buttons directly onto the pillow and wouldn't have to sew through the thickness of the flower as well so all of those little changes are just personal preference but anyway here's a cute free um, non applique frilly flower to play with hope to see you guys next time in our tutorial have a great day